Thanks, Aaron. Former cellmates of Laura Hall were on the stand today with testimony that was not heard in previous trials. Hall's cellmates say that she made statements about Jennifer Cave's murder that suggest she played a key role in the mutilation and the escape to Mexico with Colton Petoniak. Chris Sodegy was in the courtroom today when that evidence was heard and has more. Chris. Although cellmates say that Hall had an obvious dislike for Jennifer Cave, saying that she deserved to die, was cheating with her boyfriend, and that she really kind of took over everything that happened after the murder. However, Hall's attorneys say that testimony is hard to believe because it took five years for us to hear it. Actually, I didn't hear that. Laura Hall's father spent the morning trying to convince everyone his daughter is in this position because she was just trying to lend a hand. My daughter did go to Mexico with Colton young girl in love and trying to help somebody. But three former cellmates say she was doing a lot more. From conversations inside the cell, they say that after seeing Jennifer Cave's body in Colton Petaniak's bathtub, it was Hall's idea to escape to Mexico. It was Hall's idea to mutilate body parts that could identify Cave and Hall, who made a list of items for Petaniak to buy in order to do it. Hall's attorneys, though, wonder why they waited so long to come forth. It's in a high-profile case. Inevitably, the cockroaches crawl out from under rocks, claiming that they have had a second visitation of Christ. I, it, it never surprises me. The question is, does the jury believe it? Less skepticism surrounded the medical examiner who conducted Cave's autopsy. The Cave family left the courtroom as graphic pictures showed several stab wounds to Cave's body after being killed and a gunshot wound to the head after being decapitated. DNA analysis of 41 crime scene items excluded Hall from a machete at the apartment, but not from the pistol or six other pieces of evidence. You got to look at the whole picture, but the fact is that there are items at that crime scene that she cannot be excluded from. But how much of a role she played while there is still the question. And if the jury believes the cellmates, Hall was the mastermind behind the aftermath. Now the prosecution was talking to the lead detective at APD when the judge declared recess for the day. They'll continue their case starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. One more interesting piece of testimony today. A U.S. Marshal bringing Hall back from Mexico say that she said it was Jennifer Cave's friend's responsibility to avenge her death and not that of police. We're live downtown. Chris Sadegi, KXAN Austin News.